other thing that that I've heard um, you speak to is is you know this idea of price, right? How do merchants react to the price of a of a proper headless build? You know, it's not cheap. It's not you know this isn't for a very small merchant. This is for a merchant of a certain size, but. Nonetheless, you know, how does Nacelle justify, you know, the price range that we have for some of this work? Yeah, I think this conversation, at least the response is very similar to the build versus buy scenario. Because if you think about the cost in the long run that it may take if you wanted to do this in-house, like that, is, that cost is going to outweigh buying a service that's already readily available for you that has dedicated engineers and teams that are maintaining it for you that really just makes that cost and effort on your side a a lot lower. I I think too, you know, like the, this idea of, Hey, like if conversion rates are improving, you know, Mm. 20%, 30%, I mean, gosh, let's just take, you know, 5% improvement in conversion rate. You know, when I think expensive, I think, okay, we're going to invest in a project and the return on that project is only going to maybe give us our money back. Like to Mm -hmm. me, that's a really expensive use of capital. But if you could use your capital really efficiently and maximize your your ROI, where say you're getting, you know, a a 10% improvement in conversion rate would be great. Now, that would be the lowest conversion rate improvement at Nacelle to date because <laughs> most of our merchants are falling in between the range of 20% to 30% improvement conversion rate. But it's hard. I think it's a lot easier to understand the nature of what those dollars are in terms of what they're they're being invested into and what the ROI for that project is going to be. Yeah, I would totally agree there. And I, I think that the investment into this ideology of best in breed is undervalued too, because you really are enabling yourself to be extremely mobile by, by moving to a, a tool like Nacelle or like just a headless architecture in general. And I, I think that the cost of that for the long run is money in your pocket that you, you just don't realize today. <laughs> Right. So, okay. So it's not just the performance on the front of the site that's going to give me an ROI, but over the long term, operational excellence, the idea Mm -hmm. that I can pick the right parts of my stack and that won't, you know, mess up my front end in these detrimental ways, I I think speaks to maybe an ROI even beyond, hey, my conversion rates increased 20, 30%. Mm -hmm. Exactly.